It's good to be with you on this Wednesday, and I trust here in the middle of the week that you're experiencing God's blessing and power. As we're heading toward the summer, I trust you're praying like we are that God will really use us this year to see people reached and his power displayed. The opportunities, I believe, are great around us, and I trust we will take advantage of those. My encouragement for you today is the fact that somebody's praying for you today. I love it when I hear somebody saying, Pastor, I pray for you every day, or I pray for you on such and such a day, and I really do ask God to, to bless you. That means a lot, because I know God answers prayer. Sometimes I'll meet preacher friends, and they'll tell me, I, I do pray for you. Well, I've got good news for you. 24-7, there's somebody praying for you. In the high priestly prayer of the Lord Jesus, as they were on the way to the Garden of Gethsemane in John chapter 17, just before Christ would be apprehended, he's praying to the Father. And in the midst of praying to the Father, he says, neither pray I for these alone, speaking of the disciples that were with him, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Well, everyone listening to me today fits into that verse. We all are here because of their word. The New Testament has come from these men and the, the testimony of the Lord comes from them and we have believed on the gospel because of the ministry of Christ through them. And so what the Savior is saying is he is praying for all of us who would believe later. He certainly prayed at this time, and we know that he ever lives to make intercession for us. We have a high priest who is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He is at the right hand of the Father, his great ministry for us. So friend, you're never alone. You may wonder, is anybody out there that cares? Is there anybody really that is praying for me? I can tell you, yes, there is. God Almighty, of course, is very much focused on your life. But we find very clearly that the Lord Jesus prayed for you back at this time, and he is making intercession for you. The Holy Spirit is praying for you with groanings which cannot be uttered. And the Father is moved by the Trinity's burden for you. And even when we don't know how to pray, the Spirit will interpret our heart and will go to the Father on our behalf. And the Savior is the mediator between God and man. So that means I'm never alone. I'm never without an advocate. I am never in a place in which God forgets me. In the darkest places and valleys of my life, when it seems like the whole world is collapsing around me, there is a God who's on the throne that controls all. And he has me in mind and he has you in mind and he is interceding for us. You can bank on it. And that's a great blessing. And so... Let me just on the Lord's behalf say that he's telling you, I'm praying for you, and I want you to go forward knowing that I care for you, and I'm praying that you will have great victory and blessing today.